Welcome inside the Citrus TV studios for another web edition of Q's Countdown alongside Chris Thompson and Christian DeGuzman. I'm Nick Dugan. Syracuse set to take on defending national champion Clemson in the Dome on Friday the 13th. It's a little spooky, guys. So, so I have to ask, what's the freakiest Friday that you've ever had? I'm a little afraid to ask, but I'll ask I, I got this one. I already know I win because seven years ago, a 300-year-old tree just came crashing down in my driveway, took out the two Volvos. Ugh. Very sad. That would have been my college car. Would have been the car I've been driven around in Syracuse. And we okay, lost it. okay, I concede. You do win. Yeah. But my freakiest memory is my sister and I were playing Super Smash Bros. The new challenger approached and the sirens were ringing and my sister and I darted out of the room. It was really <laughs> freaky at the time. Yeah, it, yeah. It, it doesn't get much freakier than trees and Nintendo, let's be honest. Uh, let's jump right into the numbers between these two teams. Syracuse scoring just three points less than the second ranked team in all the country and putting up just five yards fewer per game. The turnover margin is interesting as well. Clemson's defense ranks tops in the nation and SU has been prone to some turnovers themselves. But Kelly Bryant has four INTs of his own this year. Who knows, maybe SU forces a couple of turnovers on Friday night, but that orange offense is going to face a tough test. Clemson giving up just over 250 yards per. You thought Dungy was under pressure last week. Dabo Sweeney's squad has sacked the opposing QB 22 times this season and added a whopping 47 tackles for loss. Chris's face says it all. No, that's not going to work. Uh, it's going to be tough. Uh, a lot about the defense there. We'll switch it over to the offense. A big reason why this Tigers team is 6-0 is junior quarterback Kelly Bryant. No Deshaun Watson in Death Valley this year, but no problem, right, Chris? Yeah, the only problem with Kelly Bryant was that ankle that he injured against Wake Forest last weekend, but the fact that he's playing on Friday means he's 100% ready to go, and that is a very bad sign to Syracuse. The reason why you know is because you don't risk a national championship quarterback in a game you know, against Syracuse. The question, Christian, is, is how is he going to kill Syracuse? Is he going to do it in the air, or is he going to do it on the ground? It's going to most likely be on the ground. Kelly Bryant already has seven rushing touchdowns this season, as opposed to four passes touchdowns. He's a better runner than Deshaun Watson as well. So the front seven of Syracuse is really going to be tested against one of the elite rushing quarterbacks in the nation. And Eric Dungy also leading the Syracuse team in rushing. So it could be a matchup between the front sevens and the mobile quarterbacks uh, in the Carrier Dome. Uh, guys, Clemson coming into this one winning their last 11 dating back to last year. So what will be the key for the Orange in the Dome on Friday night? Well, you talked about Dungy a little bit, and he is the key, but for a completely different reason. My key to the game is the towel. My message to Coach Dino Baber is you are not winning this game, and I think he knows it. When you get answers like OMG in the press conference, you know, you know <laughs> that Dino doesn't think he's going to win this game. So the fact of the matter is, if you don't think you're going to win, you need to protect Eric Dungy. I think he's one hit away before we seriously have to have a conversation about his future as a football player, and even just his future you know, as a person. It is a very, very dangerous situation. He's just taken hit after hit. I mean, the first hit that he took in the first quarter last year against Clemson when he got sandwiched was, I mean, it was devastating. It was really tough to watch. So my message to Dino here, and of course he's watching and listening, is you just got to watch out for Eric Dungy. And as soon as Clemson gets out to a lead, you really have to think about protecting your quarterback and getting him out of the game before something bad happens. Well, Chris, you may not be as optimistic, but I still have a little bit of hope for this Syracuse team, especially if they limit the big plays. That's my key to the game, because Syracuse already this year has allowed, in three games, a passing play of more than 48 yards. And for a team that loves to set the tempo themselves, if you allow those big plays, the opposing team has all the momentum in the world, and they can set the tempo. Dino Babers loves to set the tempo with this offense, and he won't get that chance if Clemson has a huge 50-yard pass to Deion Kane or Hunter Renfro. Yeah, this SU secondary may be a little bit better without Antoine Cordy than some people thought, but maybe not quite up to the task to play against Clemson. We'll have to wait and see. All right, Chris. Cordy I'm, wasn't the difference. <laughs> I'm, I'm bracing myself a little bit for your prediction after your key to the game, but we're going to start with Christian instead. Yeah. Christian, who wins this one between the Tigers and the Orange? You, need, you may need to brace yourself for my prediction as well because it's not good for Syracuse. 47-7 to is how Clemson wins this game in the Dome on Friday, and I think it's because of that big play. Deion Caton and Hunter Renfro can present matchup problems for these SU cornerbacks, and I think one big play from either one of those two is all they need to have all the momentum in the world and just ripped life out of that carrier dome. Well, Christian, I think Syracuse is going to blow this one 51-13. <laughs> and you just got to get out of the dome as quickly as you can, Dino. <laughs> you have to refocus your unit. You have to go on the road if you want to make a bowl. And you have to either beat Miami, Florida State, or Louisville. And that is a tough challenge, probably the toughest challenge he has faced 
as a head coach so far here at Syracuse. No five wins Syracuse in a bowl yeah. game? No, you year? don't. Not marketable. This team is not marketable. <laughs> Are you kidding me? These five hour games are ridiculous. No, not no a one's going to watch. Not them. a chance. No one's all right. No chance, they are analysts. So that's all the time we have here in the Citrus TV studios. Make sure to follow along all of our football content as well as content from sports all over the hill at Citrus TV Sports on Twitter and Facebook. For Chris Thompson and Christian Guzman, I'm Nick Dugan. Enjoy the game and thanks for watching.